Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, now come back to center. Keep the belly tone and just drop the knees over to the left side of the room. And again, just allow the breath to take you deeper. Allow the inhales to create space and awareness and intention. Breathe, listen, pay attention. Notice everything. Inhale, now come back to center. And we'll begin with our core work. So you can bring your knees just right over the hips here. Flex the feet and press the legs away from you, uh, just right below the kneecap. And then stick the butt out for a second so you get a nice curve. And then as you exhale, pull the ribs down towards the ground, pull the low back down towards the ground. So you're doing more of a cat back than anything else. And this will help fire up the core. I'm sure you feel it. Uh huh. Take your right hand, both your hands to your right leg. So you can activate even more. Take the left hand behind the head. And then as you exhale, twist right, extend left. Inhale, come back to center. Take both hands to your left leg. Press, keep rounding, right hand behind the head. Exhale, twist left, extend right. Inhale, center, and rest full. Good. Come back up, or press the legs away. Press that right leg away, left hand behind the head, big inhale. Exhale, twist right, extend left. You can even extend right up. Inhale, center, oh, that kicks it up. <laughs> Stay it up. Stay up, press the left leg away, right hand behind the head. Twist left. Extend right, extend left. Oh my gosh. Inhale, come back to center. That made it way worse. Okay, hi. Let's do that just one more time. Hands press, activate, press the ribs down, belly down, left hand behind the head, keep pressing right, twist right, extend left, extend right to sky. Oh yeah. Inhale, come to center. You see, that is crazy. That's Left hand to the left leg, right hand to behind the head. Twist left, extend right and left. Inhale, come back to center, rest fully. Oh my gosh. Put your feet down. Okay. <laughs> Take a breath here. I think that's really nice. Uh, a really nice um, bridge pose. So take the arms above the head and lift the hips arm music. Good. And then exhale, drop the hips, bring the arms down alongside the body. And just do that one more time. Lift the hips, lift the chest, extend the arms, and then bring your back down, bring the knees towards the chest, rock along the length of the spine. And just do this a few times. Just feeling a nice rolling, waking up right along the nerve endings, along the spine. Good, and then cross the shins, come onto the hands and knees. Nice. Inhale, grip the earth, make the side body long with the breath. Bring the shoulders onto the back, from the belly, move the inner your thighs up, and as you lift the chest, don't let, let the upper back move in, don't let the neck crank. Exhale, scoop and round and feel the strength of the belly. Inhale again, belly to the floor, heart to the sky. Exhale, round and scoop and look in. Good, just do that three more times. Allow yourself to just notice everything that's coming up for you. And then when you're ready, come back to neutral spine. 
Me and Ashley are doing hot yoga now. Okay, <laughs> take the knees back. Big breath, side body long. Shoulders come onto the back. Inner thighs back with your knees bent. Lift up and then drop your head. Keep the arms strong and straight, but then let your upper back go in just a bit. Push your hips to the sky, just resisting. Let your neck and your head and your jaw relax. Big breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Come forward, plank pose. And then as you exhale, let your hips go back and up. Inhale, come forward, plank pose. And exhale, push your hips. Keep the knees bent one more time. Inhale, coming forward, plank pose. And then exhale, press it back and up. Bend the knees, come up to the heel, come up to the balls of the feet, and then press your right heel down. Inhale, come up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, left heel down. Inhale, come up to both balls of the feet. And then just press both heels down. Take yourself forward again, plank pose. Move forward to tippy toes, bend the elbows, Chaturanga. Drop hips, bring your hands wider than your mat, tent the elbows to the sky. Side body long with the inhale, every toenail down. Exhale, shoulders on back, belly tone, lift the heart forward and up. Then keep the belly strong, let your upper back move in. Pull the chest forward, come back down. Inhale again, come up. Exhale, pull the chest forward, come down. Do that three more times, inhale. Breathe. Pay attention. Notice. Last one. Come down. The palms next to the low ribs, curl the toes under. Chaturanga, uh, then flight pose. I got this. Good. Down dog. Inhale, the right leg goes up to the sky. Take that foot between the thumbs. Drop the back knee and bring your hand up to your front knee. Squeeze the side body, squeeze into the center as you press your pinky toes away. Then widen the pelvis, my friends. Pull the low belly in. And again, can you get that nice exaggerated curve? Tone the belly a lot ribs in, like me, I want to stick my ribs out so bad. Pull the chest out, arms up to the sky. Keep be interested in the curve and widening the pelvis, bend in. Then pull the chest up and out. Big breath here. Put your hands down onto the ground. Lift the back knee. Left fingertips down, side body long. Shoulders come onto back and use the muscles to pull yourself twisted open to the right. Take your right arm to the sky. Tone to the midline, widen the belt, the pelvis, tone the belly and wrap that right hip back. Use the muscles of the belly to twist open more. Good. Put your hand down and simply move back downward facing dog. Inhale, move forward, plank pose. Bend elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Good, left leg to the sky. Bring the foot between the thumbs. Drop the back knee, hand to your front knee, please. Squeeze in, widen the pelvis. Get that curve, be very interested in that. My like front of my hip flexor is so sore from doing this. Like yes. really right. <laughs> really press it back. Use the muscle. Pull the low belly in. Pull the ribs in. Then come up. The arms can go up. 
And just let every little breath bring you deeper into the body, bring you deeper into awareness. The practice of yoga is a practice of mindfulness. Especially for the time. Bring the fingertips down, lift the right leg. Let the belly be toned, shoulders on back, twist open to the left, left arm to sky, squeeze in, widen pelvis, belly in, wrap that left hip back, let the belly muscles twist you more, bend in, big breath, put your hands down, move forward to Uttanasana. Now pause here in your forward fold. Grab each elbow. Let your jaw relax. Let your face be soft. And just notice what is here. <laughs> so awesome. Shake out your head a little bit. And then bring your body over to the right, your torso to the right, just twisting a little bit, and then bend your uh, right knee. Come back to center, bend your left knee and twist over to the left. So you're just kind of opening up the side body, the right side of the body. Good, good. Come back to center. Let's do that again. Push and bend into the left, uh, bend into the right leg, push through the left leg. Side body long, and then one more time, come back through center, extend over to the left. Then left knee, push through the right leg. Come back to center, release the hands. Look up with the breath, put the palms on the shins and just lift your heart forward and up. Spread the pinky toes wide and widen the pelvis. Tone up the belly a lot, pull the chest forward and up. Then bend your knees and bow and fold. Inhale again, half lift. Fold and bow, exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, fold, bow, in. Stand up, stretch the sky. And if you get dizzy, chin towards chest. Exhale, hands to your heart. Arms up with the breath. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms up, spread the toes wide, tone the leg, move the inner thighs back and pull the ribs back, shoulders back and stretch up and out. Exhale, forward fold, turn fingertips down. Inhale, look up with the breath. Step your right foot back behind you, drop the back knee, the leg, arms move up to the sky. Put your hands down on the ground, lift the right leg. Then as you exhale, twist open to the left. Now put your right palm down, turn the toes towards the left, outer edge of the back foot. Side body long, shoulders on back, stretch open. And breathe, push down and forward. Turn the toes forward. Move back, down dog. Inhale, plank pose. Bend elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, forward and up, cobra, up dog. Exhale, agamuka. Right foot between the thumbs. The back knee goes down, the arms move up. Still be interested in that curve, friend. The hands move down. Lift left knee. Exhale, twist right. Good. Put the left hand down, turn the toes to the right. Press down, thighs back wide and twist open. Big breath here. Turn the, everything forward. Move forward with Tanasana. Inhale, the breath out, lift. Exhale, fold and bow. Stand up, stretch it up. Hands to heart center. Inhale, reach it up. 
Take the weird thumb on top, press the hands up, thighs back, ribs back, stretch up and out. Exhale, forward fold, ten fingertips down. Look up with the breath. Step your left foot back. Drop the back knee, arms move up to the sky. Okay, now widen the pelvis, tone the belly, bend the elbows, get the shoulders onto the back. Inhale, side body long again. Tone up the belly and twist to your right. Then here, take your arm and extend your left arm right along the thigh bone. So it might actually be that the elbow is above the thigh. Take your right hand to your low back, press the thighs back, tone up the belly, and lift the back knee. Someone just was on the thing. No, no, sorry. No, it's okay. Thighs back. So get really interested in this curve. Pull the belly in and up. Twist open more. Wrap that right hip back. Mm -hmm. Maybe the right arm goes to the sky. Then keep pressing to the ground. Stand up. Still twist it. Take your right hand to your back thigh. Curve the back. Low, slow belly in. Pull up and out. Keep pressing your left leg into your right hand. Okay, now put your left hand down. Turn to the ball of the back, or to the outer edge of the back foot, to your right toes forward. And this time, take your foot right out in front of your knee, and then push your butt, push your foot down, push your leg around, and then twist open more. And then take that right leg and stack it on top of the left. Good, come back to plank. Adjust yourself, and then shift your weight to your right hand, letting the left arm come to the sky. Tone the butt, thighs back, belly back. Good, bring it back, plank pose. Down, come down, chaturanga. Keep the shoulders on the back as you move into up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana. Good, breathe. Inhale. Okay. Yeah, left foot forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. I knew that. <laughs> Squeeze in, thighs back, arms up. And again, just create that space. You notice, breathe, belly back, bend the elbows. Side body long. Shoulders on back. Belly twist to the left. Then extend that right arm down. Keep the shoulder on the back. Lift the back knee with the hand on the low back. Now widen. Press back. Widen the pelvis. Keep toning the butt. Pull the low belly in. Twist open more. Arm up. Breathe. Then stand up, still twisted. Keep rooting the right thigh back, pull the belly in, take the left hand to the back thigh, reverse. Another breath here. Put the right hand down. Turn all the toes to the left and then bring that left foot kind of out, like in the middle of the thigh right here, right in between, so everything's straight ahead. Push down and forward, shoulders on back, push open. Arm to the sky. Then bring that foot back. Tone up, tone the butt, thighs back, belly back. Big breath here. Put your left hand down. Come to the side plank, to the left. Big breath here. Put your hands down. Move forward, plank pose. Bend elbows, chaturanga. Shoulders on back. Exhale, Adho Mukha. And breathe. Armpits lift, thighs back, belly back. Come up high to the tippy toes. 
Look forward, hot step or walk. Inhale, look up halfway. Fold in, exhale, bow. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach up to the sky. And start through the center, come forward, Uttanasana. One breath, one movement, half lift. Take your right foot back, drop the back knee, arms to the sky. Exhale, bend elbows, twist left. Take your right elbow across the left thigh. You can lift the back knee. Take the arms open. Stand up, it's twisted, lunge. Exhale, reverse. Right hand to the floor, out in front of the shoulder, right into side plank. Left side plank. Plank pose. Chaturanga. Cobra up dog. Exhale. Good. Right foot between the thumbs. Drop back knee. Arms move up. Bend elbows. Exhale. Twist straight. Elbow across side bone. Right hand to heart. Lift left knee. And then stand up with the breath. Reverse. Left hand down. Side plank. <laughs> Side plank to the right. Plank pose. Forward tip toes, bend elbows, chaturanga. Inhale forward and up. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Side breath. Take this as an opportunity again to tune in. Tune in with the breath. Tune in with your body. Good. Inhale, come up high to the tippy toes. And then this time, look forward, bend your knees, hop your feet to the outside of your hands. Okay, so now check this out. If you landed real hard, I'd like you to do that again. And let's just all do it again. So press down. Gaze is just slightly forward. Even, you can even kind of look uh, below the thumbs. Keep pressing and see if you can gently land the feet to the outside of the hands. Then heel toe the feet together a bit. Come into Malasana. Press arms into legs, legs into the arm, lift the chest. Big breath here. Good. Put your hands down. Turn the toes forward. Good. Hands are pressing. Bring the knees to the backs of the arms. And then come into Vakasana. Good. Now put your feet down. And check it out. Can we come into five parallel Vakasana? So this is where you get really in here, okay? Yeah, okay. Then you'll slide forward, and then see if you can just, like your feet are just wide, right? Just get them and try to get your thighs pair up, and then come back. All right, so try it out. That's really good, Laura. Nice. That's hard. It's hard. It's hard. So now, to challenge yourself even more, bring your feet together, and then slide forward. Ooh, that's really good, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. You have to bring your body weight forward. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Go. I'm all. <laughs> good. Now shake out your fists. Take your fists together. Squeeze the elbows to the midline. All right, release the hands. One more shake out, forward fold, it's an awesome Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold and bow. Stand up with the breath. You know, movement is so important for our 
nervous system, really. Like you think about the animal, the way that animal releases stress and fear, reach the arms up, is by shaking it off, right? By movement. A movement comes so naturally to our human condition, doesn't it? <laughs> Look up halfway. Sorry, you can't read my mind. X, except for Ashley can. Take your hands down. Take your right foot back behind you. Turn the back foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. So get a lot more arms to your left thigh bone. Squeeze in. Root the left the thighs back. Hone the low belly in and up. Bend in nice and deep to that left knee. If you can, left hand goes to the inside of that left foot. Take your right arm, just forward. Take a side body long, shoulder and back. Take your finger towards the mat, towards the mat. Pull the heart up. And then notice, curve, low belly, low ribs. Push. I get a good stretch on the right side of my body. Big inhale here. Good. Now put your right hand down. Turn to the ball of the back foot. Drop the right knee. Straighten the left leg. Tone. Pull to the midline. Spread the pinky toes wide and widen the pelvis. Pull the low belly in. And so here, I want you to get more interested in creating a curve than I want you to bow in, right? Notice like when I bow in, it doesn't really do much for me. So I create that tone of the legs and then widening the pelvis, pulling the low belly in, and then maybe the chest comes a little more forward. Just keep getting that curve. Now look up. Take the right hand to the outside of the left foot. Take the left hand to the hip. Again, widen the pelvis. On the belly, twist to the left. Left arm can go up. Lift the left kneecap. Put your left hand down. Very nice. Put the left foot down. Lift the back knee. Hop switch the legs. Left foot down, right forearm to the thigh. Squeeze in. Root the thighs back, pull the belly in. Keep that right inner knee coming forward, bend in. Good, take that right hand to the inside of the right foot, keep widening the pelvis. Turn the belly open. Good, left hand just forward at a 45 degree angle. Take the side body long, shoulder on the back, bend out through the left fingertips. And again, just pay attention. Thighs back, belly in, shoulders on the back, push open, turn open. Lift the back kneecap. Everything is just observing and adjusting. Put your left hand down. Drop the left knee. Straighten the right leg. Take the right. Make sure the knee is directly over the hip. Press the thighs back. Widen as you tone to the midline. So really tone the muscle. Spread the pinky toes wide, and then press the inner thighs back to the part that curve. There, I feel that hamstring stretch. Ooh, yeah. Uh -huh. Belly in. It's funny, it's like it doesn't look like a big movement, but it's big movement. It's like out of Yeah, yeah. So this will come forward nice too. The left hand to the outside of the right leg. Right hand on the hip is the leg. But all the legs are the legs. All the legs are the legs. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. Side back. And then totally it's totally right, yeah. Ashley has done a lot of my classes this week. Right arm to the sky. Big breath here. Bring your right hand down. Whee! Bend into the right knee, put the foot down, lift the back knee, move back down. Stop. Forward, plank pose. Bend elbows, Chaturanga. Drop the hips. Inhale, Cobra. Come back down to the belly. Roll to your right, bring your right elbow to the ground. And to the other, okay. 
So squeeze in, thighs back. Actually, get to see the progression of how I keep here. Really good, funny. So try to get your oh, ball. Here we go. So try to get your body in one line of energy. Good. Pull the left knee in. Take your hand to the inside of your leg and grab the pinky edge of the foot. Widen the pelvis, tone up the belly, and then you can stretch that left leg straight. Mm -hmm. Keep pressing. Okay, now release the foot. Very nice. Come on to the forearm. And then roll to the left. This is a hard part. So get your body in one lunge. Good. Once you find stability, pull the right knee in. Take your hand to the inside or the inside of the legs, the outside of the foot. Take a breath here. Very nice. And then the right leg. Oh, goes to the sky. Side back. Widen the pelvis. It's like we do in common often, all right? Come the belly. Push. Why is this so much harder? Come your belly. Put the right hand foot down. Okay. I love that. Good. Stretch it down. Cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Come up to the tippy toes. Bend your knees. Hop. Step or walk. Inhale. Look up. Hold and bow. Exhale. Stand up. Stretch to the sky. Hands to heart center. Good. Shift your weight uh, to your left foot. Lift your right knee. Take your right ankle across. Hi, guys. <laughs> and bend in nice and deep. Keep flexing that left foot. And then take your hands, cross your forearms. Take them to the inside of the legs, just like we usually do. Squeeze in and push your inner thighs back and apart. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Bend in nice and deep. Okay. Option. Hands can come to the ankle. Now, I'm going to pause for a second. I want you to see what happens if you try to get that low back curve even more. Oh, yeah. So I backed out a little bit. Getting that curve. Pull the belly in. You put your hands down. Put your shin across your arm. Bring the left leg back. If you can't, just bring the heel towards the butt. Keep leaning forward. Remember that baby Picasso, that weird Picasso that we did? You got to do a lot of that. Good. Put that left foot down. And then stand up. Right knee up. Pull it down. Shift your right to your right foot. Lift it up. Take the ankle across. Sit back. Stick the butt out. Thighs back, belly back. Cross the forearms. And then up here, get curious. Can you wide, tone your butt, but widen the pelvis. woo -wee. Makes the hip opening worse. Okay, then get a little lower. Maybe come to your shin and still explore. Good. Maybe the hands go down. Okay, put your hands down. Shin, shin across the arms. You can just extend up the back. You can bring the heel towards the butt, or you can extend that leg back and then lift it. Bend the knee. Put the foot down. Stand up. Put the foot down. Pause. Close your eyes. Feel the heartbeat in the body. Feel the breath. Labor, perhaps. Open the eyes, inhale, the arms move up. Take a forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, look up with the breath. 
Exhale, plant the hands, move back down dog. Okay, so now take your right leg up to the sky. Okay, turn your inner side in. Now bring your knee towards your chest. Put the foot between the thumbs. Take your foot on a tightrope, both feet on a tightrope. You call this floating pigeon? I think we just named it last night. Floating yeah. pigeon, floating pigeon. Okay, so <laughs> squeeze in, widen the pelvis, get interested in that curve. Push hard. Then imagine there's a rod going through, up through the knee, down through the heel, and it doesn't allow you to stickle your ankle. So you widen the knee to the right. Again, move the hands forward, widen the pelvis, pull the belly in, move the chest down, keep hugging the shin in. Lift the armpits and breathe. Now bring your hands up, okay? And bring your right foot over to the right. Take the shin down, put the left leg down. Squeeze in thighs back, belly in, bring your forearms down. Now, as you squeeze in, widen the pelvis, bring your right knee back and your left knee back, and maybe your elbows back a bit, so you get a bit parallel. Do it again, thighs back. Right knee back, left knee back. Move your forearms to your right. Keep pushing through your big toe ball mount so you don't move uh, to your left. I'm sorry, move to your left. Maybe you put your elbow into the sole of your foot and then use the belly muscle to twist you open using that elbow to help. Or maybe you can get your shoulder into the arm. Keep breathing. Okay, now come up to the hands. Check this out. Come onto your right foot. Bring your left leg out in front of you. If you have a prop, if you have like a prop, you can sit up on that. That'd be cool. Take your right foot and then push that foot back. All right, as much as you can. Like get weird here. Push. Okay, see me okay. All right, now take your hand forward and see if you can get your foot. Uh, yeah, Yogi Dandasa, and then maybe come go back to that body. Get in there, wrap your other hand around. It's amazing. It's okay. It's easier for the us to the help you. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what's happening here? Go no, over. We're just trying to get to the hips. <laughs> and we're thoroughly entertained. <laughs> <laughs> now put your right shin back, extend your left leg back. And then move back, down the bottom. And just notice. Ooh, yeah, that's in there. Good. Left leg to the sky. Bring it to the knee to the chest, pull it in. Can you put your foot down without lifting your hands? Oh, it's hard, huh? It is hard. <laughs> Stand on one, on the tightrope. Push the thighs back and widen. Pull the belly in. Widen the knee to the left. Who would be able to do this? Danielle. Danielle and Sierra. Sierra. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Widen your thighs. Keep pushing through your big toe ball now. Bow the chest. Bring the hands forward. Breathe here. There's a lot of junk in our hips, don't we? Inhale, come back to center. You know what I've noticed? Uh, bring your foot across the midline. What? Uh, is that uh, every time I get really like fearful, uh, my I feel start to feel my thighs. So I become really like my thighs has become sensation. Like I get sensation, and I'm like that's literally fight or flight. Like if it's flight, it's crazy. Like so then. So we're, we're helping to open up the energy around that. Come with your forearms. Move the thighs back and apart. Move your left knee back and your right knee back. And negotiate with yourself, right? Like, am I open enough to do one more time, right? I'm asking a lot of you. 
So left knee back and right knee back. The idea is that you can put, bring your arms over to the right. If you can get your shoulder into the sole of the foot, you probably can do Yogi Dandasana, what we just did Dandasana. So here, put your elbow into the sole of the foot and start with that. Lift the belly open, turn it open. Then maybe the shoulder comes there. Keep pulling in, keep hugging the midline. Now come up to the hands and bring your left butt down. Extend the right leg forward. I'll just bend the knee in. Take the foot, push it back. And like lift your left butt to push it back. Still worry about that curve. Then you take your foot and then you bring it up as much as you can. So then you take your hands behind. There you go. So bring it up here. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Just hanging out with my foot. Yeah, it's actually, there's actually a pretty cool, and this one shows you too, with that here. If you guys can see, look at this. The bow and arrow. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There she is. So, yeah. So, <laughs> thanks, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, after you're done, if you don't have anybody to do that for you, you're fine. <laughs> Bring the right leg behind you and move back down the. <sighs> All right, I feel like we should stand up for a second, bend your knees, walk your hands back to your feet. Look up with the breath, hold in with the breath. Stand up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. See what my hair looks like, it's crazy. Inhale, half lift. <laughs> Move your hands forward, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Then as you exhale, bring the knee in towards the belly. Pull it in nice and tight. Then here, come to the inner edge of the back foot. Roll to that right hand. Extend that left leg forward. Big breath here. Core strong. Put the left foot down. Slide it forward. Lift the chest. Right foot down. Slide it forward. Lift the chest. Bend. <laughs> okay, Put your right hip down. Put your forearms down. Make sure your shin is parallel to the front of the mat. Big breath here. So for me, it doesn't bother me, and I feel like I have the flexibility, especially after you're just doing yoga down to asana. Curl the back toes under, or don't, inner edge is fine. Move your forearms over to the right. Take 10 to your right fingertips, home the belly, and then twist to the right. I wonder if I can do it. Slide the left hand. Oh my god. Now we'll play it out. There you go. That's intense. Good breath. And half come up. Okay. Put your right forearm down. Left leg. Bring it forward. And plant the foot so the toes are pointed straight ahead. Remember this from this week. Mm -hmm. Take your left hand to your foot. Here's that coming forward action. So I lift the leg and I push my heart forward. Like a little whoo. Big breath. Now put it down. Take that left leg back. Right hand a little closer, shoulder on back. Push it up. Flip it around, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open up the hip, wild thing. Bring the back to center. Put it down. Whee, that was nice. Left leg up. Knee towards chest. 
Inner edge of back foot. Extend left leg to the right. Big breath here. Put the left foot down, side left foot forward, and you lift your heart. Home butt. Right hand down, left hip down. Good. Either inner edge of back foot or back toes curled under. Breathe. <sighs> Okay, inhale. Big breath. Side body long. And as you exhale, fill the arms to the left. Tend the left fingertips. Big breath here. Twist open more. Take your right arm. Pull it. Maybe underneath. No, it's really intense. It is. It is. <laughs> Calm and notice the breath. Come back to center. Put the left forearm down, right leg. Up in front of you. Toes pointed straight ahead. Take your right hand to the left foot. Lift the foot. Breathe. So we did that core work so we can pick our butts up. It's so heavy here. Good. Put your butt down. Little baby grasshopper. Beautiful. Right leg back. Left hand to the crown. Lift the chest. With ease and grace. Pull the leg up. Pull the right foot, right hand down. Left leg to the sky. And bend the knee. Do all the good wild things you know how to do. Bring it back. Foot down. Come up to the tippy toes. Look forward. Pop to your butt. Okay. Bend the knee. Let's see if this belly comes together. Okay. Is it easier, right? No, no, my, my, I mean, on Thursday, it's my sequence. It does. I feel it all coming in. I understand. Yeah. Emma. So your right leg here, take it across for left shin. Last night I ran out, I go a lot slower on the same night, and I totally did not get to do this part. So stick your butt up. Calm the belly and come up to the fingertips. Maybe move your butt forward, bring the hands closer, lift the chest. On the mat, my flat girl pose. Now, bring your butt back a bit. Take your foot, and just like we did in that yogi down dog in a type of pose. So you're gonna lift, twist, get your armpit as close as you can. Oh, I don't even feel like doing this. This is a hard way to get into this. This is a hard way. This. Okay. You gotta lift your butt. Up. So push. Mass. And then okay. forward, send the leg. But I feel like I can get it a little better. Yeah. Put down. Come back to your butt. Woo! <sighs> like I work with Donald's, but I didn't know I had. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's super slippery. <laughs> Oblique killer, right? <laughs> Left leg. Across. Lift the low back up and up. Stick the butt. Bring your butt closer to your heel. Side body long, shoulders on back, breath strong. Okay, back up. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> Left elbow. Right, so here, we take a moment, lift the low back and twist to the right, and then use your right hand to the arm as high up onto uh, or the foot as high up onto the arm as you can. Push down, lean forward, step. <laughs> Bring it back. Whoa. Thumbs up. Back up. Right here. One more. 
So Claire, do it again, but look forward, look look down. I mean, don't look down, look back. Try to try to come into it that way. See what happens. Nice. Yeah. See your back is really nice there. So when we do it that way, we just get a little more um, core engagement. All right, let's try it one more time. Go ahead and middle or in the middle. Are you in the middle of the room looking into that? Yeah. Okay. It's terrifying. It's okay. I'm going to share it on myself. Feel. Keep the arms straight. Wait, one more. One more. Arms straight. There it is. You're welcome. Okay, stand up, shake it off. Shake off your hands. Okay, sit together. Move the elbows. Stand up. We'll do a regular grasshopper. So pull your right knee in. Just for a second, not regular grasshopper, like the taller adolescent grasshopper. So bring your right knee behind your left knee and bend into your left knee. Grab your right foot, or grab your, to bend into your left knee and you bend, grab your right foot from behind, put your right hand down, extend as you bend forward. Okay, so, yeah, cool Instagram pose. Then use your strength, pull it back. Good. How about that? I, I instructed that really shitty. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's try it again. I'm gonna do better this time. I'm gonna do better for you. Lift the left knee. Bend into the right knee. Bring the left knee behind. Start to extend. I'll grab the foot. I grab it from the bottom. I don't know. The top. Wherever. And then. Bend it, put the left hand down, bend it into that right knee. Cool. Cool, easier than picking your butt up. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's then. Grasshopper. Two. Grasshopper. Three. Grasshopper is so weird. It's so noisy. It's like, Oh, my right ankle across. All right. So here, and you can, why don't you just start, watch me and I'll demo. So take your ankle across, sit in. You have the curve. Pull in. I, I'm pretty open my hips now. Take my foot, sole of my, I take my sole of my foot with my left hand, and I get my armpits high up as I can so I'll get sliding. Slide. Oh, she oils. So slight. 
So suddenly, okay. So ankle cross. Bring it through. Put your hand down. Lean forward. Extend the leg. If you can, set it back. Bring it back. Okay. Put the foot down. Bring it up. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Stand on your left foot. Bring, bend your right knee up. I'm gonna watch you guys. Okay, sit down, ankle across, bend the left knee, there you go. So take your inner thighs back at the curve. Nice. Then take the sole of your foot and use the belly muscles to twist to open to the left and use that foot to help you get your foot up as high up as you can on your elbow. Then put your left hand down. Reach over, put your right hand down. Nice, Clara. And then sit into the elbows, lean forward. Push, yeah, you got a KPO. Oh. She's like, ah, oh, so slippery sweaters. Dang it. Good. And then if you can, if you got the pose, extend the leg back. Yeah, try again, there you go. Whew. And now it's a good pose. I'm still waiting for Laura to do it. It's easier than it's easier to do that way than the other way, right? Yeah. Okay. And then come back up to stand. We'll do the other side together. All right. Lift the left knee. Take the ankle across. Widen the pelvis. Sit. In the curve. Right hand to the sole of the foot. Big breath. Twist. Take that foot high, put the left hand down, reach the right hand forward, extend the right leg back, lean out to the side, and then back. Come here, ready? Come back. It's exciting. Take a, take a moment. Maybe you can do a bow. My baby. Okay, let's get to that time. We're done with your butt. It's good. It's good. It's going to be amazing next week. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty Stay tuned. Stay tuned for Ashley's butt progression. Beach body pictures. It's all. Okay. All right. <laughs> They're like, okay, yeah, we're ready. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, so now come to the front of your mat, please. Uh huh. And then sit into Utkatasana chair pose. Beautiful. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit on your butt, widen your knees. Stand the legs forward. Send the legs up. Put the feet down with your knees bent. Hands back, shoulders on back, big breath. Side body long, shoulders on back, lift the legs. Put the butt out, put your butt down. I got Dandasana. And here I'm putting my hands behind my low back to so lift the chest up. Keep the low belly and the ribs in. Keep the curve in the back. Accentuate that. Root those sides back. Beautiful. Come back. Put the hands back, fingers forward. Big inhale. Shoulders on back, belly strong. Push the toes towards the ground. Bring the right knee to the chest, then the right leg. 
Put the right foot down. Move it to the midline. Lift the hips. Extend the hips up. Send the left knee in, and then extend the right left foot to the sky. Not the right foot. That'd be hard. Bend the knee. Put it down. Release the hands. Rest fully. Can you knock your knees together? Hey, mommy. Good. Bend the knees. Bend the elbows. Side body long. Shoulders on back. Lift the hips. Interlace fingers. Shoulders laid behind the back. Good. Move the feet over to the right. Drop your butt onto your right arm. If you want to release your hands and turn your palm up and massage your wrist with your butt, that's what I'm doing. Good. Lift your hips again. Interlace the fingers again. Bring it back to the center. Drop your butt down on your left arm. Turn your palm up. Again, massage. Good. Lift the hips. Release and release the hands. Bring it back to the center. Take the arms above the head. Ashes famous, famous shoulder releasing pose. And then one vertebrae at a time. Bring it back. Pull the knees in. Let's talk about the low back. Bring it the other way. Give yourself a big hug, happy baby, anything else that you like. And when you're ready, extend your legs, turn your palms up, close your eyes. Allow yourself I just noticed and breathe. And I'll chant to you, and if you can't hear the harmonium, you can still hear my the voice, my voice.
Pull your knees in towards your belly and give yourself a hug. And then come up to seated, keeping the eyes closed. And just rock yourself up or roll over, whatever feels right. And so from the Tip Mahan website, yes, there is fear and yes, there is isolation. Yes, there is sickness, and yes, there is even death. But they say in Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds again. They say that after just a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes, but blue and clear. They say that in Italy, people are singing to each other across the empty squares, keeping their windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of families around them. They say that in the west of Ireland, a young woman is spreading flyers with her number through the neighborhood so that the elders may have someone to call on. All over the world, people are slowing down and reflecting and looking at their neighbors in a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to the reality of how big we really are and to our interconnectedness and how little control we really have. Waking up to what really matters to the power of prayer and meditation, of kindness, of caring, and love. So we pray and we remember that while there is fear, there does not have to be hate. There is isolation, but there does not have to be loneliness. There is sickness, but there does not have to be disease of the soul. And there is pain, suffering, and death, but there can always be rebirth of community, peace, harmony, and love. Wake up to the choices of how to live today and now. Breathe, listen, pay attention. The birds are singing, the sky is clearing, and love is always encompassing us. Open your window, open the windows of your soul, and though you may not be able to touch across the empty square, sing and give thanks for your life and all that you have. Bring your hands to your heart center. And we end together as an ohm in community. 
Namaste, my friend. Namaste.